Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to fix a big problem in Angular uh, because you are the latest version developer in uh, Angular. You know that. Uh, lots of user uh, that is uh, fixing property. Uh, that is, I just I want to fix that type of property, uh, that type of uh, error message in Angular. That is actually uh, has fix uh, just I want to uh, just drag the mouse cursor on the property and you can say that property courses that is the property name courses has no initializer and is is not def, uh, definitely assigned to the constructor so uh, that is the problem in angular with the latest version okay so if you are using latest version of angular application you might have encountered property has no initializer and is not definitely assigned in the constructor error when you declare a variable inside a class or component okay so if you got that type of problems we have number uh, types of solution to encounter this types of problem the first one you can notice that here we have a course property and that that is the type of the uh, course DTO that is the complex type that is the interface and you notice that if you want to implement with the empty that is okay so you can initialize it so that problem will be initialized it so adding initializer to property that is the first uh, pro, uh, that is the first thing to resolve your problem so you can see that initializer uh, initializer uh, to property that is the first problem to solve that is the next uh, problem is when you initialize your uh, that is thing that is the user and that is the type of mat table data source just I want to initialize it like looking like that so new mat table data source that is thing so you initialize a object but you notice that it is a class just uh, I'm not uh, actually doing the same thing so just you can use just hold it and use constructor that is the constructor where you can initialize your uh, public uh, your private property by using the constructor so use this dot users equals to new my table data source user that is the right way to use uh, to initialize the um, paging property and if you uh, if you want to use paginator that is the uh, property paginator has no initializer and is not definitely assigned to the constructor that is the same problem so if you do this like that uh, this dot paginator equals to new mat paginator like that but it's also a problem so uh, you can use uh, this types of things to uh, assertion so uh, that is the you can say that definite assignment assertion to the property so you can use exclamatory sign right here is the uh, proper paginator i mean to say that you will assign the property in ladder that is the meaning of this uh, type and if you want to make it undefined like that uh, also you make it undefined okay so just you can use uh, that is the property is not initialized suppose your property is not initialized so you can make it undefined that is thing so you can make it undefined type of things you can use but not there so that is not right plus to use it and the next one to uh, resolve your problem by using the last one that is type psconfig.json that is make strict true that is make false okay so that that is the last one and there is a no need after that you can see there is a no need and also there is a no need you can see but it's not a right way to do this so this is the right way to use the latest feature of your typescript so make it uh, that is the enable typescript and use uh, strictly typed that is true save this okay so the right way is to handle your uh, initializer property by this way the first one 
is disable strict properly initialized flag that is the not right way okay so use strict property initializer that is true to make it false okay so the first one is make it false in the typescript dot ts config dot cs file the next one is undefined type that is undefined type and the next one is definite definite assignment assertion property assertion to property okay and the next one is add initializer and the next one is uh, in the constructor okay so there is a way to handle that type of problem in angular in the latest version so fix that type of problem by using that type of things thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to angular